Okay. Just that way. No, that way. Well, good morning. How do you do? Lots of surprises are waiting for you. On your mark, get ready, go. It's time to show the JP and Ted Show. Hi, I just love these flights to dance with you. Great to be back here at the library. Now, today I'm going to present you a tale, a St. Patrick's Day show of leprechauns and magic and mayhem. It was many years ago, it was many years ago, a boy named Aaron was on a ship called the Bell Aaron, and the captain told him to fetch out the, the fetch a tree for a special time. Oh my god, it's a rainbow. Rainbows happen. Well, rainbows happen in the summer. And who should show up a leprechaun? Get away from me, gold, imagine. I don't want your gold, gold. What happened? Mag the Hag actually showed up. Mag the Hag was just terrible. All those banshees were very tricky. They could cause snowstorms, and they could cause blizzards, and tornadoes, cause smoke and turn sour. They still need Christmas gold. They're not allowed to steal it. It's coming to give it to them freely. Such a terrible brought Mag the Hag to us. It was a good year in Ireland and all that. She caused a storm, actually caused this terrible island to happen. My trouble's not blown, yes. My, my trouble Mag the Hag happens. Wait a minute, why are you with that tree? It must have leave Mag the Hag. You what? Well, then you don't have to cheer a couch twice. This thing was to show me to hers. Oh, this is sick I am. Bagora! I said Bagora! I hate, I never said Bagora. Or something that tea. She's bewitched. Bewitched. Mm. Banshee. Yes, I, I reached you with the tree of generosity. Now, give me the gold. Yes, no, yes, no. I give the gold to you, boy. The gold is yours. Take it. Okay. They said the leprechauns didn't know what to do we about the gold and all that. You have to take care of the gold. Don't give it to Magda Hagner or what? She's worn by the tears of the eyes. Tears they are. Or I pray for the sailors that have lost on the sea. But imagine, when I give the gold to you. The hall, the greens, and have a green, the prettiest sight you ever see. The Christmas and Killarney, and all the folks at home. It's nice to know the mistletoe, the prettiest sight you ever know. Christmas and Killarney, and all the folks at home. And there it is, and all the folks at home. And all the folks at home. It's nice to know the mistletoe, the prettiest thing ever know. It's Christmas in Killarney, and all the folks at home. It's Christmas in Killarney, and all the folks at home. With that, let's go order and girl. Ah, Magda Hag. Oh, I'm going to turn you into a sleepy boy. Leprechauns didn't know what to do. Aaron was in a deep sleep. What to do? Didn't I say we well, one of the, the hags of Magin? About the hags. Well, we want to be take care of no? Oh, yes, dear brother. Take care of this. And take care of my brother. Yes, dear brother. Aaron, you're not dead. No, asleep and all that. No, asleep and all that. That a deep sleep. And then the rainbow happened, which actually caused Mag the Hag to shake. It's a miracle. Well, well, it's just about time to have a miracle. It let's be guide the rainbow. It's just my ship. It's just the Bell Aaron. Here to take a, a cargo, a cargo, a shoes, a gold back to Ireland. Homeward bound for Ireland. There's another one. The story of St. Patrick. Patrick was out by the beach when suddenly there was, was pirates and all that. He was captured by pirates. He was captured by pirates. And he was sold into slavery. Well, those pirates, they did whatever they wanted with him. They beat him up, they yelled at him, they screamed at him, yelled at him. Every day, Patrick begged for his freedom and all that. Patrick begged for his freedom. Especially the pirates took pity on him. And they released him back. Not back to England, but to Ireland. Oh, there were snakes roaming around. Snakes were everywhere. There were snakes in the field, snakes in the yard, snakes in the countryside, snakes people cooking. Uh, George would try to keep control of the snakes. 
Patrick was just about ready to give up. Then the words of a single book appeared, the Bible will not have happened. Patrick read that Bible every day, practiced Bible verses, says, says, and then he became a bishop. He held that, he held that, he held that shyly. This gold light appeared out of the stick. The stakes were suddenly surprised and all that. This gold light appeared out of the stick. The stakes were surprised and jumped out, off of the cliff and into the sea. The Astro Druids had fled. Today we celebrate St. Patrick and keep our Christianity to Ireland. Thank you. And now I'm going to sing some songs to you. Um, this old man, he played one, he played knick tack on my thumb with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two, he played knick tack on my shoe with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three, he played knick tack on my knee with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four, he played knick tack on the store with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five, he played knick tack on my high with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six. He played knick tack on my stick to the knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played seven. He played knick tack up in heaven with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight. He played knick tack on this gate with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played nine. He played knick tack on my spine with a knick tack pay whack, give a dog a bone. This old man keep rolling <laughs> This old man, he played ten. He played Dick Dack all over again with Dick Dack. Hey, we give it a bone. This old man, keep rolling home. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Kelly Lane? Yes, I know the Muffin Man, Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man lives on Crowley Lane. She's married to the Muffin Man, Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. She's married to the Muffin Man who lives on Crowley Lane. One more song. All right. When I wish eyes are smiling, the world seems bright and gay. The world seems bright and happy. The world is bright and gay. The world seems bright and happy. The world seems bright and gay. And when I wish eyes are crying, they'll steal your heart away. Thank you. Can you tell the kids about how you make your puppets, the ones you oh, made you from scratch? Oh, Some right. of them he did, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. See if these are my puppets. Do you use a sewing machine or do you do uh, it by sometimes hand? Sometimes I sew them and sometimes you have a gun. Okay. Like them. Do you ever incorporate clothing into it so you don't yes. have to start from yeah, scratch? Yeah, sometimes you use clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is actually made from a shirt. Right. And I love your leprechaun. Yeah. Okay. These are made from scratch. I like them. I noticed you used felt for those. That's nice because it, it doesn't get rabbly at the edges, isn't it? So that yeah. you kids could, could probably do some of these things. Yeah, I use a hot glue gun on this. There's a little fuzz on it. Look at, look at the eyes, see? How you get the eyes in the mouth? Mm hmm See how we made the eyes? And you guys, I don't know if you've ever made paper bag puppets, but they're pretty easy and they're a lot of fun too. And then you can sort of have a mouth that opens and shuts right. when you're doing a paper bag puppet. Well, he's a scary one. puppet. Ooh, <laughs> a, right. It's a Halloween mask or something. Oh, yes, it is a Halloween mm -hmm. mask. Yes. This is basically a wig stand. I use tape. The body's basically a shirt. Shirt sure I bought from Goodwill. I use a mixture of tape and glue in the mix of this. The mask, the mask is basically a, is a mask of what a Kmart. Mm -hmm. You could actually put different masks on there. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ted. We so appreciate your coming uh, again. That's great. And kids, let's give them a hand. Thank you.
Street, Concrete and Light. People like, hey, all people this plan all my puppet shows. And if you've got something you want to share from the puppet shows, I'm also available for birthday parties, available for, for fundraisers, for schools. I'm in the State Street Miracles Media Theater. We're going out to Harrisburg and we're doing a lot of great stuff. And we're doing a lot of great stuff. We hope to see you being here. Maybe I'll call for Halloween. Bye. I love your Halloween shows. They're great. Kids, if you walk down to the far door, we have a 